Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial from the World of Flowers page that we've been doing. Um, this one here, it's quite a small one, but we have these sort of glass jars and boxes and things. It's quite a bit going on really, so uh, let's make a start. Um, the background to start with, I'm going to use a red. I don't think I've used a red for background at all on any of these pages. So um, I'm just trying to choose one. Here we go. We have the Venetian red. It's not quite as sort of dark and bright. And I'm just going to start with a little bit of a... It's only a small area for this background anyway. I'll just get that done. Now we have the glass jars. We had the glass jars previously. I'm just trying to see what we did on the other page. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking I want to do these bits as lids. So I'm not going to do any background showing through that top bit. But we may do a bit showing through the bottom bit. Now what I didn't do the last time I did jars, probably might have been a couple of days ago, this video. I'm not sure whether I actually might put a couple of these out per day. Depends how far ahead I get. What I'd like to do with these jars is to do a lighter version of the background. So I'm trying to just press a bit more gently. It's not always that easy. And there we go. So it's slightly lighter. I think you can see that. So that is our beginning. We're just going to work across. We're going to start with this box. I'm thinking wooden box with um, silver embellishments. So I'm going to grab a cool grey and do this sort of bit here each side as if it was silver so put a few layers there and less there and leave a little white gap for shine do the same on the other side and across the middle and the problem we have in the middle is we've got this bit so if we make that bit dark that bit of their white, hopefully it still looks like there's some shine going on. And then down here too, I'm going to make it dark on the corner, a bit of shine halfway up. And then halfway along the bottom. Just so it sort of all lines up. It probably doesn't make logical sense, but I think it still works. Um, I may do some silver on the other box, but I'll just pop that down for now because we just deal with this one. Now we've got a leaf design. I'm thinking I'm going to do a sort of wooden box and so those leaves I think I'll just do as if they were painted on in some green paint. Oh, I just moved my uh, pencils a little. I've got a chrome green here which I think is, goes quite nicely with brown. So I'm just going to pop that in there and then grab a brown. I like the... Um, no. <coughs> The Van Dyke brown and I'm just going to do it quite gently so I'm not pushing it down too hard and I'm doing it in an across direction because I want it to look a bit like wood grain and what I will do is grab a darker brown I have the burnt umber which I just need to sharpen and I will yeah there we go do a few lines. Sorry, let me just show you the name in case you didn't catch it. Sort of wood lines. Before I start the next one, I'm just going to pop away because my son just sent me a message. One minute. Right, that was all fine. Um, we were just messaging about parents' evening. Now we have a little box jar here with circles in. Now I'm wondering what they could be. Um, I'm thinking maybe little pieces of gravel for decorating the top of a plant pot. I don't know. So I'm going to grab my Davies Grey and just colour them in grey. I don't really know what else to... I mean, you could do them any colour really, couldn't you? So I'm just giving it a sharpen. There we go. So here is the Davies Grey. I'm going to try and go a little harder around the outside and lighter in the middle but I don't think it's going to show up 
yeah, my sons have got parents' evening coming up and I don't normally go because it's really hard to get there. Um, but you can do a phone call instead. But I don't like being on the phone. I don't know. Anyway, um, what are these? What do you reckon? Dried petals? Mm, or leaves or seeds? I'm going to do them as petals. Why not? I'm just going to grab this pretty purple colour. And make them petals. Um, but I find it, I prefer to email um, and just get feedback that way. So I was just chatting to my boys to see what they thought because obviously at the end of the day it's up to them really. I'm just grabbing this purple light to do the lid. I think it'd be nice if the lid sort of matches. And I haven't done the other lid. There we go. I'm going to do the other lid in blue. Um, which blue should I grab? Yeah, let's grab the Delft blue. It doesn't really matter. I just want a darkish blue. Now, we haven't dealt with the fact that these jars are see-through. So let's do that next. Um, let's grab my Posca pen. Pencils are... Oh, sorry. And... Uh, what we want to do is put some white lines on the jar so that we can see it's reflecting the light. It makes it look a bit more glassy. You can do a few more little thin ones. And you could go, oh, some people go around the whole edge. I don't tend to do that. I think we need to see the edge, especially as we're seeing the background through. If we get rid of the edge, it might just disappear. So uh, we'll just leave it like that. You could put a pencil, white pencil, over the edge and that will fade it slightly. Maybe we'll do that. I'm not sure how good this Castle Arts white pencil is. We'll have a go. Let's have a go. See what happens. There we go. So this is the titanium white and we'll put it over the black. It's fading it a little bit. Oops, that's a bit sharp. <laughs> there we go, it's just faded it down a bit. I don't know how much difference it's made. There are better pencil whites that would do a better job, but hey. Right, so we've got our final box. I'm going to grab my grey again. And I'm going to decide where to do, what colours to do really. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this piece in silver. like that and then make these straps black because if they're sort of leather or something or for those of you who um are vegetarian or vegan maybe it's some um, that pu leather fake leather it's quite hard to buy leather these days actually most of it is that pu leather There we go. So leave a little bit of white for some shine because it would be shiny, whether it's a sort of plastic or, or leather strap. Just darkening a bit. I think I'm going to do the rest um, brown like the other box. I'm just getting my red to complete that background because it's a bit, I hadn't finished it properly, had I? There we go. So we we'll do try and do a different shade of brown though. What I'll do. Is I'll pick from the um, I'll pick the terracotta light, which you can see is a really yellowy, ochery colour, and put that on here. And so it still looks like a sort of light wood, but it looks quite different to the other one, which is the plan. Now I'm thinking, where would it mainly? Would there be any sort of shadow? I'm thinking. Maybe a little bit darker along there, maybe a tad under there, maybe coming up from the bottom a little bit. Hmm. I can see another bit I've missed with my red. Uh, there we go. So I want to put some lines across like I did with this one, but I'm going to use the Van Dyke Brown 
which was the base of this one. I don't work on this one because it's paler. And try to just get them not too lined up. They don't start all of them in the same place. There we go. So that is us really. It's been a very short video, but it's only a short space. As I say, I may put a few of these together. Um, or, you know, several in a day. Because I want to get these all out to you before um, the end of November really. Because December is Christmas. So I may have to pack a few in. But that's okay. So that is that one all done for you. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope that was okay for you. Um, have a lovely day and happy colouring.